Hello, welcome to this video on Canadian animals. Uh, my name is Patrick. And um, so in this lesson, I'm going to teach you about some of the uh, best known animals in Canada, teach you the names and some interesting facts about these animals. And so we can see some of them in this picture here. Um, I wonder how many of their names you, you know. Well, let's get right into it now. So um, look at this first animal. Uh, you might have uh, seen this animal uh, before. So what's it called? The name begins with a B, you know? It is a bison or buffalo. So nowadays I'm hearing the word uh, bison more and more, but of course buffalo is used commonly as well. Let's look at some facts about them now. So the buffalo or bison is the largest land animal in North America. And they can be found in Alberta, Manitoba, and in Northwest Territories. And uh, I saw some actually in uh, the Yukon Territory as well, which is the uh, north of British Columbia. And they reach 3.8 meters in length and two meters at the shoulder. And um, they weigh up to 900 kilograms. That's big. So let's look at the photo. We can see a Native American hunting a buffalo. So the uh, buffalo were the main food source for the Plains Indians. And there were millions and millions of them. Um, but the, the um, white settlers uh, wiped out and hunted most of them. They were almost extinct. But now um, their population is recovering. All right, so let's move on to the next one. So what's this one called? Uh, it's a two word name, uh, M and G. You know what it is? It is the mountain goat. And so um, the mountain goat is found in British Columbia, Alberta, and the Yukon, so in Western Canada. And they live high in the mountains, which uh, protects them from predators. And their lifespan is nine to 12 years. And in winter, they migrate to lower elevations. And they're great climbers, and they can be seen on steep slopes. Oh, uh, let's move on to our next one. Okay, uh, so what's this one called? Starts with a G, and second word with a D. Oh, you probably know, this is the grizzly bear. Uh, it's a, bigger than the black bear, but uh, not as big as the polar bear. And some grizzly bear facts. Adult females weigh up to 180 kilograms. Adult males weigh up to 360 kilograms. And grizzly bears are omnivores, which means they uh, eat both plants and animals. So they uh, eat large animals such as deer and uh, mountain goat. Um, and they will even eat black bear uh, as well as fish. They, live, they love salmon. And uh, they hibernate for five to seven months of the year, which means uh, basically sleeping. So can you imagine sleeping uh, more than half the year? Well, they do. And they, it's, they go into a, like a coma. And um, so they do this over the winter. So uh, before they hibernate, they eat, need to eat a lot uh, to have a lot of fat reserves, which will sustain them during your hibernation. So there's a new word, a couple new words for you today, omnivore and hibernate. Uh, uh, here's an interesting looking animal. What's it called? It starts with B and W. This is the beluga whale. 
and let's look at some facts about them. Now, they live only in the um, Arctic Ocean, well, and the Atlantic as well, but you never see them um, on the Pacific Ocean, but we, we never see them near Vancouver. And they're interesting because they're completely white. And unfortunately, they are prey for polar bears, killer whales, and as well as Arctic people. Uh, prey means they're hunted by these people and uh, these uh, people and animals. And their lifespan is 35 to 50 years. And they eat fish, shrimp, crabs, mollusks, marine worms, and so on. And uh, you can sometimes see them in um, aquariums. Lovely animals. Okay. What's this one called? This is the bighorn sheep. Look at those horns, curly horns. So bighorn sheep fats, they weigh up to 230 kilograms and the horns alone can weigh up to 14 kilograms. And they inhabit the Rocky Mountains and the interior of British Columbia. And um, so during the mating season, the males jump and crash each other with those huge horns. And so obviously the winner uh, is dominant and has the chance to mate with the females. Okay. Now let's look at our quiz, animal quiz number one. Let's see how much you remember. Uh, so which animal lives in the Arctic Ocean? Is it the grizzly bear, the bison or buffalo, beluga whale? mountain goat or big horn sheep which one is it well of course it's the beluga whale uh, so now question number two which animal eats both plants and animals it's an omnivore do, do you remember it's the grizzly bear and number three which animal is a great climber of steep slopes and cliffs. This is the mountain goat. And number four, which animal crashes its horns against other males in mating season? This is the bighorn sheep. And number five, which animal is the largest land animal in North America? Of course, this is the bison or buffalo. So how did you do? Did you get all five, correct? All right, let's continue. So look at this cute little guy. So what's it called? Do you know? It's not a squirrel. It's a chipmunk. So let's look at some chipmunk facts. So the chipmunk is found only in North America. So we don't find them in Asia or, or Europe or anywhere else. Uh, they eat grass, seeds, nuts, fruits, fungi, insects, and, and other arthropods, small frogs, worms, and bird eggs and they save the food in burrows to eat over the winter. And they have burrows that can be as long as three and a half meters long, uh, which are kind of tunnels, which are underground. Let's look at the next one. Look at this, it's not a cat. What is it called? It starts with an L. Look at that baby, very cute. This is a lynx. And look at those ears. So let's look at some lynx facts. So they have tufts of black hair on the tips of their ears. They have large padded paws for walking on snow and long whiskers on the face. And they weigh up to 30 kilograms. And their diet is snowshoe hares, which are like rabbits. And what's interesting is the population of lynx 
is re uh, closely re related to the population of snowshoe hares. So uh, the um, population of hares is uh, kind of a, um, a cycle. And so when uh, there are uh, many snowshoe hares, the lynx uh, breed a lot and their population goes up. And then when the um, cycle of, snow of snowshoe hares is, is uh, low and there are low numbers of the hares, then the population of lynx goes down. And interestingly, they hunt mainly around twilight, which is sunset or at night. So we don't see them during the daytime very often. So next, what's it called? It's not a wolf, it's a coyote. And let's look at some coyote facts. Uh, so this actually uh, is a cartoon of uh, Wiley Coyote, who was uh, um, an enemy of Bugs Bunny in the cartoons. And so uh, their diet consists mainly of deer, rabbits, hares, rodents, birds, reptiles, and amphibians, and even fish. And they weigh up to 20 kilograms. So they're um, like a small, you know, medium-sized dog, much smaller than wolves. And interestingly, sometimes they will mate with dogs. So they will have, even have, uh, have puppies uh, with dogs. And um, interestingly, they are the most vocal of all wild North American mammals. Vocal means they, they make the most noise. So they, they howl and bark a lot. And I've heard this sound, is, uh, it's, it's quite uh, interesting and unique. And increasingly, they are living in cities and suburbs. So um, the coyote is amazing. Um, it will live in forest areas, in bushes, in the cities. And I've, I've been quite close to uh, coyotes myself in the city. And uh, they're slightly dangerous. Um, so you shouldn't approach one. And, but uh, uh, I've heard them very, very close. They, they, and they, I suppose they, they um, live off uh, pet cats and dogs as well as uh, all of the um, edible garbage. Okay, you probably know this one. What's it called? This is a moose, very big animal. So let's look at some moose facts. So um, one thing that's interesting about the moose is it has a piece of fur covered skin, a bell about 30 centimeters long that hangs from their throats. And um, interestingly, they are powerful swimmers and they sometimes dive several meters to feed on plants at the bottom of a, of a lake. Isn't that amazing? Imagine that big animal swimming down to eat uh, plants at the bottom of a lake. And their average weight is um, 400 kilograms for males and 350 kilograms for females. And they're generally, um, uh, they are not, not aggressive. However, you need to be careful because they, if they uh, become angry, they are very powerful. And, uh, some people have been hurt or killed by them. And here's a re really unique Canadian animal. So what is this? Starts with an M and O. This is a musk ox. So let's try and learn a little bit about the musk ox. So the musk ox facts, they live in the Arctic tundra regions of North America and Greenland. So the tundra is the um, area of land where it's too cold for trees to grow. And they have short and curling horns on each side of the head, which can, they can use as a weapon. And um, musk oxen, oxen is the pearl, uh, defend themselves by forming a circle around their young. So if they are attacked by a bear or a wolf, um, the herd of uh, musk oxen 
will form a circle with the weaker ones and the and the um, the young in the center and the stronger ones on the outside and they will use the horns uh, to defend themselves okay so animal quiz number two so which animal has short and curling horns on this each side of its head well i just mentioned it that's the musk ox of course so number two which animal sometimes dives several meters to feed on plants in lakes of course, that's the moose. Number three, which animal hunts mainly around twilight or at night? This is the one like a cat, it's like a big cat, a lynx. And which animal saves its food in burrows to eat over the winter? So it stores its food. This is the chipmunk. And number five, uh, which animal is the most vocal? of all wild North American animals. Of course, this is the coyote, which howls a bit like a wolf. Okay, moving. This is a well-known little guy. What is it called? It starts with an R. You probably know. Of course, it's a raccoon. So let's look at some raccoon facts. Say so their body length is uh, 40 to 70 centimeters, and they have a body weight of 5 to 26 kilograms. And they have dexterous front paws, which means um, they can use their their paws, their hands, uh, a bit the way uh, a person, a human, uses its um, hands, his hands. And they have a facial mask and a ringed tail, so very unique. And also one thing special about them is they like to wash their food before eating. So if there is some water nearby, they will actually wash their food. And also they are omnivorous. So they are omnivores. They eat fish, frogs, insects, bird eggs, and plants. And as, uh, nowadays they will also eat um, human uh, leftover garbage, food waste, and they mainly live in forests, but they have adapted to living in human environments. So now they like the coyote, we see more and more of them in cities, um, and they can become a bit of a nuisance uh, getting into the garbage bins. Okay, and so number 12, what's it called? So, well, this looks a lot like a reindeer, doesn't it? Well, it is. Uh, this is a caribou. In Canada, we call them caribou, but they are pretty well the same as the European reindeer that you might find in um, northern Sweden, Norway, Finland. And so, some caribou facts. So, they um, are able to live in the freezing Arctic tundra areas of northern Canada. And they're a bit different from uh, deer and moose in that they have um, their hooves are like their feet are uh, adapted um, to allow them to walk easily on snow and ice. And the caribou have um, hollow hairs in their fur, which give them extra insulation from the extreme cold. So their their fur is very warm and also their coat lets them uh, float easily when swimming across rivers and lakes because as i said the uh, hairs are hollow it means they hold air and they can survive in the cold winter by eating only lichens lichens are kind of very slow growing plant which um, grows on the ground in um, the arctic tundra Okay, now look at this little cute guy. He's very well camouflaged with his white coat. And this is the Arctic fox. So let's look at some facts. So um, they have white, but sometimes blue-gray coats, and which are effective winter camouflage, which means um, 
it, uh, it's very hard for other, other animals to see them. If they're in the snow with a white coat, of course, they blend in. Uh, they hunt rodents like mice, and rabbits, uh, birds, fish, and even leftover scraps from polar bear kills. So it, the food that the um, polar bear has left behind, like dead, dead uh, seals or dead uh, deer. And they have um, furry soles with the bottoms of their feet are very furry. And they have short ears, shorter than a normal fox, and a short muzzle. The muzzle is the nose. And that's better uh, for the cold climate. And they are found in the um, Arctic tundra areas and usually stay in the coastal region of the Arctic. So we don't find them down um, in southern parts of Canada. And in the summer, it sheds its white coat for brownish or grayish shorter fur. So what's this? It's not a whale. It's an orca, or also called a killer whale. But I think orca is a much more positive name. So nowadays, we use, mainly call them orca. Put away a little bit old fashioned. And so let's look at some orca facts. It's the largest of the dolphins and one of the world's most powerful predators. A predator is a kind of hunter. And they make a variety of communicative sounds. And each pod or group of orca has distinctive noises that its members will recognize. And they eat fish, penguins, and marine animals, such as seals, sea lions, and even whales. And they can be six to eight meters long and weigh in excess of six tons. And they can live to age 90, uh, like humans. They're amazing animals. All right, uh, so what's this? Of course, this is a beaver. You can tell by his flat tail. That's a distinguishing feature. And uh, the beaver is actually um, the national animal of Canada. It's a kind of symbol of Canada because of its um, hard, because it's an in industrious, hardworking animal. And also the fur uh, was very important in the economy of Canada and the early in the country. Uh, was founded. And so they live in freshwater habitats such as rivers, streams, lakes, and ponds. And they are herbivorous, which means they eat plants. They are not meat eaters. And they eat tree bark, the skin of trees, and aquatic plants, brush, and grasses. And they're really special because they build dams. So if there's a stream, they will actually block off the stream and kind of create a small pond or lake behind it. And they build lodges, a kind of like home using tree branches, uh, vegetation, rocks, and mud. And they chew down trees for building material. So sometimes when you're hiking in Canada near, near a lake or river, you can see where they have been chewing and they have uh, cut down trees. And um, they're flat tail acts as a kind of rudder when it is swimming underwater. A rudder is something for steering. So again, this is Canada's national animal. So let's uh, have animal quiz number three. So which animal has a flat tail and builds dams? Of course, that's the beaver. And which animal can live to age 90? That is the orca. And which animal likes to wash its food before eating? That is the raccoon. And which animal has hair that is hollow, giving it extra warmth? It's not a deer, it's a caribou. And finally, which animal changes the color of its fur from white to gray or brown in summer? That's the Arctic fox. So I hope uh, you've enjoyed this lesson. And so congratulations on completing it.
And here's your ribbon for finishing. Okay, I'll see you again next time. Bye.